everybody, one more video. Before I call it a night, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you this. Uh, t yesterday or the day before, I had put together a picture uh, in Photoshop of this right here. It's basically the Starbucks coffee logo. And I just saw somebody today with the Starbucks coffee logo, so I know this is actually the logo. Um, uh, they were drinking out of this. Uh, basically, this is on one side the Starbucks logo, and on the other side, a carving of, uh, of Astarte or Ishtar, the goddess Ishtar, which is a Babylonian fertility goddess. And basically, Ishtar is, um, or Easter, uh, is Semiramis. Who uh, before um, before she became uh, before she became Easter she was Semiramis and she was the wife of the sun god Baal and uh, Baal died um, she was reincarnated uh, she gave birth to the the reincarnated Baal before that who who was named Tammuz and that's what we see reference of that in Ezekiel and then all throughout the pagan uh, times long before Jesus was ever on the scene. We see God warning us to not take part in celebrations or worship of Easter, uh, basically Astarte, Astaroth, or Ishtar, um, and all throughout. I mean, we, we've, we, we know this was true. We know uh, archaeologists have uncovered in the old city of Nineveh, where Nineveh used to be the, the temple of Ishtar, and this is absolutely Ishtar right here. Uh, this is one of the drawings of Ishtar. And so Starbucks took on this co took on this logo. In fact, um, uh, Starbucks even has a page on their website men who, that, where they mention this. Uh, this is a siren. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. They don't really go into Ishtar. Uh, that would be kind of unpopular if they did that probably. But they came up with a different uh, uh, spin on it. Um, but yeah, this is Ishtar, uh, Astarte, Astroth. Where all throughout the Bible it warns us not to take part in, these, uh, in, in, in this celebration or in this worship. And so basically what we have here, I'm going to go look up uh, blueletterbible.com. What about Judges 2, 12 through 14? And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods and the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto anger and provoked the Lord to anger. And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. Um, probably not good. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, so I got an email, uh, a message from someone on Facebook who wanted to know, you know, I have gotten this. I, I posted this on my, uh, oh, let me, write, let me read it to you. And so I got an email. Um, it says, Shalom, brother. I really like the Starbucks poster you and your team recently made. Uh, I don't know if I have a team or not, but uh, I have a five-year-old. Um, so I shared it. And one of my Christian friends commented saying, if I drink Starbucks coffee, that doesn't mean I'm worshiping Ishtar. What should I reply to that? So basically one of the Christian friends commented saying, hey, if I drink Starbucks coffee, that doesn't mean I'm worshiping Ishtar. And she says, what should I reply to that? I for sure am not drinking it because it's a mere connection, uh, because of its mere connection, and because they use aborted baby fetus cells in some of their products. But how do I respond? Is it a sin to drink Starbucks coffee? And I have heard too that they definitely do use uh, aborted fetal uh, baby cell tissues in their coffee and some of their flavorings. Good grief! I mean, we have just gone nuts, right? Okay, so uh, my reply was. I guess I would respond to your Christian friend. Uh, do you think Jesus would drink a coffee with a logo containing a Babylonian fertility goddess on it? I mean, seriously. Do you think if Jesus was sitting here today, he'd be like, Hey, let's go on over to Starbucks and get me a cup of mocha or something or other. With the Babylonian fertility goddess on it. I mean, really? Uh, before your friend answers you, I told him, I said, Go back and tell him to read those verses on the picture that mention Astarte. It's pretty obvious. Uh, probably don't want to be drinking coffee out of a cup with the logo of Astroth on it. I'm just, I'm just spitballing, just guessing. You know, complete and total left field maybe, but uh, not something I don't think I'd be doing. I mean, I've eaten Starbucks. I've had went to Starbucks before. I've had some other coffee, um, but uh, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> not that I, now that I know there's a Babylonian fertility goddess symbol on it, you know. I'll, I'll, I can make my own coffee. You know, it's not a big deal. All right, that's it. Go home. Read your Bible. Thanks.